No spoilers for those who haven't seen it. No, 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 no spoilers, no spoilers, because it's really cool. I'd like you to stare at this GIF for about 15 seconds. Every single person, even if you're repeating yourselves and your team, I'd like you to explain what is this gift illustrating. Go. Talk about it. And fingers, point, gesture, what's going on? Talk. What is it showing? Talk. I want everyone to talk. Yeah. Two sides of the triangle. Yep. And. Yes, you guys commonly know this is a square plus b squared equals c squared. Go to today's first lesson, the first page, and we, yeah, real simple. I'm going to literally do only one problem with you. And after I do the one problem, if you're like, I am not ready to be left alone, Miss Way, you're going to roll up front, and I will happily do three more problems with you. Yeah. You need to be very, very comfortable with exponents. Today's a six. Whoa, kiddo. We'll have to jabber about that at some point, like five minutes lunch or after school over the next couple days. Okay. That'd be great. Alrighty guys, go like this with your fingers. Fingers up. Okay, Mateo, could you get the lights, please? Go like this, say exponents. Do it with me, friends. Go like this. Kiddos, look at the gestures. Do it with me. Say exponent. Exponent. Expand. Do it again. Say exponent. Exponent. Expand. So whenever you see an exponent, I want you to get in the habit of expanding it. This is what I mean by expand. Exponent, whoop, that was supposed to be a highlighter. Wait, that's just a one Kind of, not exactly. Yes, they do. So there is a long way and a short way to do what's on the left. The long way is this, root 11 times root 11 technically is root 121. Technically. Go ahead and write that down. Yeah, I'll bring, I'll bring it back in just a second. Give me a second. Okay, but if you look up here towards the top, the square root of 121 is just what number? 11. So we come here, square root of 121 is just 11. This is a super important pattern. Super important pattern. Any radical times itself is just the number on the inside. So we're going to do this verbally. I'm going to say something. I'm going to pause. You're going to shout back the answer. So listen carefully. This means root 2 times root 2 is what? Out loud? Kiddos? You're, you're, I, I get it. You're hesitating. That's fine. I understand it. Root 2 times root 2 technically is root 4, right? The square root of 4 is what? 2. I want you to get rid of this middle step. Root 3 times root 3 technically is the square root of what? 9, which is just what? Okay, let's get rid of that middle step. Root 5 times root 5 is? Root 6 times root 6 is? Root 7 times root 7 is? Root 13 squared. Yeah, root 13 squared, folks, means root 13 times root 13, which is just 13. Okay, ready. You do this one on the right. You've got 10 seconds. Go. Katie, Cole, I'd like you guys to text the answer to the right. Text the answer. I'm going to turn on the chat so you can join us. Thank you for joining us, by the way. Okay, 3 root 7 squared. Boom. Are we there or not there? All righty, friends. 
Out loud, let's do it together. What's three times three? Out loud, guys. Yep. Root seven times root seven is? Seven. Therefore, this is? 63. Nine times seven, which is 63. Root seven times root seven is just seven. That's super important you get that pattern. Root seven times root seven is technically root 49, which is just seven. So it's nine times seven, and if you know your nines fingers, 63. So in a right triangle, folks, this is the vocabulary that you need to be very familiar with. I'd like everyone to darken the right angle, darken the right angle, just darken it. The right angle treated as an arrow point. The right angle points to the longest side, and that's called the hypotenuse. We can thank Pythagoras for that labeling. And then the two sides that are not the hypo, but connected to the right angle are called legs. I'd like you to get your reference booklets out. Find the green cardstock, go. Get your reference booklets out. Find the green cardstock. Green cardstock, folks. It's right in the middle. Green cardstock. That needs to come with you every single class. Find the green cardstock. There is a reason why Miss Way spent nineteen dollars and fifty cents to get fluorescent green cardstock paper. And that is because this is by far the most important single sheet of paper that I could possibly give you in this class. In fact, if all you were to do is snip that reference booklet apart, although that would break my heart, if you hung on to this literally for years to come, that would make me happy. Okay? What you were looking at, it was what I call the right triangle toolbox. The right triangle toolbox. How many different headings are there? Start counting the headings. Five. Mm -hmm. Yep. For those of you at home, we're looking at this, friends, in the cardstock. There are five headings. Hold up, five fingers. Five fingers, friends. There are five right triangle tools that you're going to learn over the next two weeks, five of them. Okay? And one of the key skills is like, when do I use which tool? When do I use the hammer versus the pliers? And these three words, if you notice on the green, just look at the headings on the green. Notice it says the word have, need, do. Just, just kind of like take a tour here. Have, need, do. Have, need, do. Turn it over. Take a look. Have, need, do. Okay, so these three words, have, need, do, tell you which tool to use. So today we're doing this one. If you have two sides and you need a third side. Have two sides, need a third side. You pathag. <laughs> I understand. Whatever it is. You're going to do this with me, okay? Because I think this is a, literally a superpower. Go like this. Say, have two sides. Okay. I'm waiting for you. Okay, join me, folks. I have four of you. Don't think you have to gesture. Get back in the groove in Miss Way's class. Ready? Say, have two sides. Have two sides. Need a third side. Pathag. Like you're activating a superpower. Like with your wonder twin. Uh, of course, dear, no spoilers for those who oh, haven't seen it. Yeah, but we will chat later because, uh, yeah, so it was, yeah, we'll just, no, we'll leave no. it at that. Don't I, spill it I, for I, anyone. No, 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 no. Is there anyone who hasn't seen Spider-Man? Yeah, okay, don't spoil it for him because it's very cool. No, 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 please. I want to know. Bad, bad girl. I had to, like, <laughs> sit on people for Infinity Wars, like who died and who didn't die, and I was just. Be a bad girl. All right, guys. Listen, this is what you guys are familiar with. Got it? Write it down. 
How many of you at some point in your math career, you have seen that? Just raise your hand. You've seen it. Tell a neighbor when you think you last saw it. Mm -hmm. But you will never see it again in this class. This, friends, is what I want to see from now on. Pythagorean theorem is not a squared plus b squared is c squared. Uh -uh. No, it is not. It is leg squared plus leg squared. Mm, oh, excellent. Nice job. Everyone golf clap for Ethan. Yes, that's exactly golf clap. Yes, excellent job. Okay. We did things. Yes, we talk about things. That is the equation that you're going to write about 12 times today because I want it every single time you do every single problem. Now, right angle, there's your hypo. It doesn't matter which one's A and which one's B. That's why I don't like A squared, B squared. Students are like get freaked out which one's A, which one's B. It doesn't matter. That's why I just use the descriptor leg. Now, we circle plug chuck. Circle leg, circle, plug it in. And when you square a radical, put parentheses around it, please. Keep going. Squared, sweetheart. Squared. Mm -hmm. Have two sides, need third side. You, you, you missed your cue. Let's try that again. Have two sides, need third side. Pathag. Pathag, yes. How do you know which one's the hypo? That is, the, that is a very important question. That does matter. It's across the right angle points to the hypo. Notice I'm expanding, friends. Okay. You've got 30 seconds to finish yourselves. Go. I'll give you a minute. Do the best you can. Oh, like what we just did. It is exactly what we just did. Cole, Katie, if you want to text your answer to me, that'd be amazing. Keep like the X too, how it is, because it's nope, you gotta get it down to X, friends. Cool. <laughs> gotta get it down to X. You'll you'll be helping us here. Okay, let's see how far you got, friends. <laughs> That's ten. Audis, innies. Okay. How many of you at least got this far? Got it. I got a few people are kind of hung up with an edit. So we minus 10. Mm, yes, we're just not quite done. What I just did was wrong. I'm glad you got irritated with me. Explain to a neighbor, why is that wrong? There's a two there, there's a two there. What's up? Why is that wrong? Go, talk, 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 talk. Also, if you're doing it with the square. Yeah. Uh-huh. The opposite of squaring, of squaring is not dividing. The opposite of squaring is square rooting. So, yes. So we do that to undo it. So I get x equals root 2, and you can't really factor. There's no dates. Now, if you can factor, you should, and you're done. What if you can't use leave like that? Yes, like oh. root 2 is root 2. You're done. Did I? Did I? So basically, you just get rid of the root 2. Wait, so x yeah. equals root 2? x equals root 2, and you're done. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. That's it, friends. It makes sense. OK. Um, no calculators until you hit page eight. If you're like, I'm not ready to be left alone, Miss Way, roll up front and I'll do more problems with you. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Just just join the party. So how about I got it, dear. You'll probably get a sign off. Yes. I under I understand. We're, we're good. We're good.
Okay, um, how about this? Sophia, since you're the one paying attention, find a problem on this page you'd like to do. I have to meet everyone else. No, you're the one paying, I offered them to come forward. So, you've got dibs. I'll include you next. So, I'm on page three, so choose something from page three. E. Sure. E. Let's do E. Just choose one. What? Yeah. Hi. What's up, Katie? Um, I can't print out the preview notes, so what should I do about that? Yeah, I don't expect you to print sixty-four pages, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. You can send it to Notability and and work on Notability okay. with a laptop. Okay. And then, like, when I go to class, then um, can I get the packet? Of course. Yeah, I don't expect okay. you to print 64 pages. Okay, then how should I turn it in? Just email it to me as a PDF. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Wood. You're welcome, dear. All righty, Sophia, so the first thing we are going to do is we're going to go leg squared. Yeah, sweetheart, don't treat me like Siri. Do your homework. Okay, where's your hypo here, Sophia? Students, crank away. You can finish with like 15, 20 minutes. To get, once you get in a rhythm, you just got to get in a rhythm and get a moving here. So where's your hypo, Sophia? It would be. Yes, it is. Yeah, I know. Okay, so this. Oh my Students, God. I don't know if you noticed, there's a perfect square table on your first page. I did it. Excellent. Oh my Just keep going. Yes, sweetheart. Page two. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm doing a problem from page three with Sophia. All right, Sophia, what's on the left here, dear? Well, you have eight squared plus fifteen squared. So, leg, leg, No, leg squared plus leg squared. No, it doesn't. But the hypo is the only thing that matters there, Shanna. Okay, so for A, it would be 3 squared plus X squared equals 5. Yes, ma'am. Squared. Squared. Oh, well, yes. Okay. okay, and we're and two. Since they're all like squared, what do I do with that? Well, what's 3 squared? So we got 9. 9 plus X squared equals? Yes, ma'am. Take it from there. So, Sophia, we're here now. Do you see that? And, Sophia, the opposite of squaring is what? Square rooting. Okay. Now, guess what? That one's perfect. So, go here to this little table. Find 289. I got this. Mm -hmm. What's the root of 64? You should have that memorized, dear. Oh, eight. It's 8. Square is yes. 8. X equals root 4. Uh, wait a minute. Are, are you on the first problem? Yeah. It's X equals 4, sweetheart, because it's square root of 16. Yeah, no, square root of 16 is X equals 4. Yes. Oh, so, so hypo can also be H. Yes. Exactly. So, Sophia, square root of 289 is what? Ethan, how are you doing, buddy? Oh, I'm doing, uh -huh. I'm doing D on 3. Oh, but did, you, did we finish this problem? That one? Did we finish it? Yeah. What did you get for X? You're making you're making life really hard on yourself, dear. Okay, look, 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 look on this chart. You're not touching a calculator. I'll explain it in just a second. Look for 289. Yes, ma'am. So, ta-da, you're done. 
thank you for adding that. Sure. Aaron, do you want to do a problem together? Yeah. Do you want to do a problem? Yeah. Sophia, do you want to do another problem together? Uh, I'm going to try one myself. Okay. Katie, Cole, yeah. how about you guys choose a problem? Um, it's okay. I'm working on it right now. I'm working on problem B, and I'm good. You're good? Okay. Cole, yeah. what about you? Why don't you check? I, the, the first two pages, two and three, are actually, like, super easy. Before I... Just check in on another problem. Yeah, what would you like to do? What does this say? How about, is this helpful? Hi, Cole. Do you want to do a problem together, Cole? All righty, guys. I'm going to go do a lap in the, around the classroom, and I'll check in with you guys on Zoom in about five minutes. Four minus one forty four. Go. Oh, okay.